Hello, worldies. It's Mythical Moon here. Welcome to the show. I'm so glad that you're here today. We're going to do a compilation of some of the videos I've been making over the last couple of weeks and show you a few of the uh, not so good moments, you know, the little outtakes that we have. So here we go. Starting off with Valentine's Day. I'd like very much to be your spokesperson. Oh, uh, Inca person. Isn't an Inca something you use on a boat? This just in. Wait, I don't have anything to say. There's no words on this paper. What the hey? We go to the scene. Does that mean we're going someplace? Oh, I should stay here? Okay, I'll stay here. And there goes Cupid, tumbling down. Oh, he's so cute. I just love him. <laughs> happy Super Bowl. Should I do it again? And happy Super Bowl and happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Did I do good? Do I get to keep this job or do I have to put in someplace else because I'm just, you know, you know how it is. It's hot on us, girls. I'm happy, happy, happy to be on your show and to do this for you because this is what I was meant to do. I'm telling you, this is my place in the world. You know, I'd make a really good weather girl. Too much, huh? Okay, I'll see you later. That's Audrey. Um, Audrey is trying very hard to get a job at Mythical News Flash, and um, we are looking at a lot of different people to fill the position of our anchor person. She's pretty funny and um, a little bit ditzy. Uh, I really enjoy making Audrey. She's so open and uh, just honest about everything. And I think that's the way we all need to be is just open and honest. Uh, there's no pretension about her whatsoever. <laughs> Thank you, Audrey, for your amazing uh, energy. <laughs> All right. Cupid is uh, the god of love and he's having a hard time with this whole deal with the Super Bowl and, and Valentine's Day being so close together. That was never like that in my past, but that's the way it is now. So this just in. Cupid attacks the NFL. We go to the scene. All right. Listen up, folks. It's Cupid speaking. And let me tell you, I'm no ordinary love god. I may be responsible for spreading love and affection. But I'm also a rough and tough football fan. But what's the deal with the NFL scheduling a Super Bowl just days before Valentine's Day? I mean, talk about making my job harder. But you know what? I'll show them. I can handle both football and love. I'll just have to dodge tackles and shoot love arrows at the same time. This is going to be one wild play! Oh, and there goes Cupid tumbling down. Don't worry, Cupid. Love always gets back up. He's so adorable. <laughs> and happy Super Bowl and happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Uh, Cupid is, is uh, adorable and uh, a lot of fun. And I really enjoy seeing him uh, do his work um, in our community because love is the most important thing. <laughs> but what's the deal with the NFL Spruce? <laughs> I'll just have to dodge tackles and shoot love arrows when I have my thing cocked. <clears throat> Forgot to cock my thing. Always got to cock your thing. <laughs> yeah, I said it. <laughs> Get over it. Ah. <sighs> So uh, that was an outtake, obviously. Um, I don't normally talk like that in video. Um, <laughs> uh, yes, I am playing all these different characters and uh, we do change the voices with an electronic thing uh, on some of the male voices because I don't have that deep of a voice, but um, you know, it's just the way we're doing it at this point. We'd love to hear how you feel about that. Um, do you think I should just keep using my own voice or should we actually keep changing the voices? Outtakes are, are a fact of life. Uh, we really enjoy them. Um, more than you can imagine. We get a big tickle out of my big flubs. And so what I'd like for very much to hear from you guys is what you think is the funniest thing that's happened uh, over the course of the year. At the end of this year, we are going to put a compilation together of all my uh, biggest woohoos. And um, so we'd love to hear from you in the comments below what you think was funny and maybe what you think we should have just left well enough alone. Because uh, that does happen. <laughs> 
Okay, here we go with some more. So what's the solution? I say, why choose? Enjoy the Super Bowl! And win or lose, remember that Valentine's Day is still just as important. It is the day to show your affection, have a romantic dinner, talk about the beauty of life, not football. Unless, of course, that's what makes you both happy. Anyway, happy Valentine's Day, and have a great Super Bowl Sunday. <laughs> Ready to fly off. <laughs> Okay, um, now we have some outtakes from that same. I do love my gun. You like my gun? He's a very cool gun. This is a. There we go. Now we're in trouble. Now you're in trouble. I'm going to get you. See if I can hit that camera right. I keep missing. Oh my God. That was fun. <laughs> okay. Yes, uh, <laughs> I had a hard time hitting those bubbles, uh, mostly because they weren't there in the beginning. <laughs> uh, my editor is an amazing person, and he, uh, Doc Dead, is is uh, able to put things into these videos that um, just are not there in the beginning. And I really appreciate all his hard work. He's dedicated to this channel, and I appreciate that so much. Um, let's look at the next one. This just in. Hi everyone, it's Cupid, and today I want to talk about the age-old question, chocolates or flowers? On the one hand, you've got flowers, the timeless symbol of love and romance. They bring a smile to everyone's face and fill the room with their sweet fragrance. On the other hand, you've got chocolates. The ultimate indulgence, who doesn't love a sweet treat on Valentine's Day? So what's the answer? Well, why choose? Give both. Give your loved one a bouquet of flowers and a box of chocolates, and you'll have a happy Valentine's Day. Oh, he's so cute. I just love him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here come the outtakes. Oh, boy. Let's see what he's got for me. <laughs> and I'll be happy, too, because I built this box of chocolates, and it's in the invention store under Moon's Chocolates 2023. And it's for sale. And you open it up. It goes like that. You give this to somebody you love. Put it in their room. They're going to love you forever. I'm telling you, this is the way it works. I know stuff. I know about selling things. I know that chocolate is the way to anyone's heart. Unless they're allergic to chocolate. And then you should give them jujubes. Or maybe some, some you know, one of those things like, uh, I don't know. How about gummy bears? Gummy bears are good. I don't know about gummy bears. They're kind of sticky to my teeth. I don't like that so much. I like them covered in chocolate, though. They're good in chocolate. Chocolate is really the thing that everybody should be eating is chocolate. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> we have... <laughs> oh, my goodness. I didn't think he was going to put that in there. Sometimes I just start talking and I forget that I, there's a script that I'm supposed to stick to. So um, that's what happens when I don't stay on the script. Uh, I start talking and just... That's what's happening right now. Okay, so we will moving on. <laughs> Hello, Cupid here. Hi, everyone. It's Cupid. And today, I want to talk about something very important. Self-love. Valentine's Day is not just about finding love with someone else. It's also about loving yourself first. You can't truly love others until you love yourself. So take some time to appreciate yourself today. Treat yourself to something you love, like your favorite food or activity. And remember, you are worthy of love and happiness, both from yourself and others. So spread the love, starting with yourself. Happy Valentine's Day! Here's an outtake for you. I'm crazy. I'm crazy. I'm crazy about Doc Dead. Ba -dum -bum. Just saying. Happy Valentine's Day. <laughs> Pretty cool chocolates, huh? And roses. Roses and chocolates. It's all in one thing. You gotta have it. I love it. What can I say? <laughs> I made it. Yeah. See y'all later. And happy Valentine's Day to everyone. Mm -hmm.
Thank you so much for watching and helping me out by commenting and liking and sharing my videos. And there we are, worldies. <laughs> some silliness. Yes, some silliness. But I like to poke fun at myself and it's okay to do that. We all have our mistakes. We all have our lives that are different than other people's. If you made it to this part of the video, the very end, I really appreciate it. And you are a true world warrior. And I want you to be know that I really appreciate everything that you do. When you comment, when you like, when you share my videos, it is an awesome, awesome thing. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for each and every one of you. Just saying. Bye.